What keeps people going back to New York City steakhouses like Peter Luger's? Is it the cooking method? Is it the nostalgia? One thing's for certain is that all of these steakhouses utilize similar preparations from the seasoning to the high heat broilers to how they finish their steaks. In this video, we're going to go over what makes Peter Luger's steak different from any other steakhouse. In regards to ingredients, we need a fairly thick cut steak, some clarified or melted butter, and some salt. For materials, we need a plate that can withstand a very high oven temperature. Here I have a ceramic plate. And then we also need either a cast iron pan or a grill to get the sear. Unfortunately, we can't replicate the heat of the broilers in a residential oven because it does not get hot enough. So in order to achieve the crust that this steakhouse gets, we need to either use a grill or a cast iron pan. I'm going to opt for my grill today and use some wood fire. It's going to give it a nice flavor and allow me to get a deep brown char. First, we just want to season our steak. My favorite salt to use is any French gray Celtic salt. So we just want a fairly heavy layer of salt. Make sure to get the fat side too. And before I bring it outside, I'm just gonna brush it with a little butter. This is important because the fat transmits the heat to the protein. If you guys have ever tried to cook a very lean steak, you'll notice it does not crisp up and brown as easily as a fatty ribeye does. Okay, so here I have a very hot wood fire. What I did was I laid some grates over the burners on my gas grill. I put some wood on it and then I let it warm up for a few minutes. I'm gonna start with searing the fatty part of the steak. And all we really wanna do here is just get a nice crust on the outside of the steak, making sure not to let the flames engulf the steak too much. Anytime when cooking with a high heat flame source, like a broiler or a wood fire, you want the flames to be as close to the meat as possible without actually touching it. All right, so we've got a nice dark brown crust on our steak. Let's take it back inside. Okay, so as soon as I came in, I put my oven on broil. Now, this is where Peter Luger's separates itself from the other steakhouses. After they get a crust on their steak, they slice the steak into finger thin strips and then they take some butter, throw it on top and this is going to get broiled in the oven to the finishing temperature. You might think, Frank, doesn't the steak lose juices when you slice it before finish cooking? No, because the steak is raw on the inside. All we really did was get a crust. So there's no juice leaking out of the steak yet. So we got our oven on high broil. I'm gonna put the steak in and let it go to temperature. This is where the expertise of the chef who's cooked thousands and thousands of steak at Peter Luger's knows how long it takes with this specific method. So this is gonna be anywhere from three minutes to 10 minutes depending on how cooked you like your steak. Unfortunately, we can't really probe the temperature because the steak is sliced. You're just gonna have to keep an eye on it. There we go, guys. How about that? Let's look at the temperature. Nice rare in the middle. So what they do when they actually serve it in the steakhouse is they place the steak plate on an upside down plate like this and what this does is it allows the juices to go to one side of the plate then the waiter comes over takes a piece of steak sears it on the hot edge of the plate and then puts it on your plate and then takes he usually takes two pieces does the same thing and then he he takes one of the spoons it says, here's some vitamins. And, and the vitamin thing is a joke, but butter and the steak juices will actually have a fairly considerable B vitamin and fat soluble vitamin content. And uh, that's how they serve their steaks. Uh, if you guys want to know how to do this, you can YouTube it. I actually did work as a waiter for a little bit in the steakhouse. 
but let's try our steak. There's the temperature. So is this steak going to be as good as cooking it to a perfect temperature over a wood fire? I think it's comparable. What makes this method different is the speed at which you can cook the steak and serve it. Because you literally get a, a fast char in one or two minutes, cut it, and then you put it in the oven for five or six minutes, and you can actually see the temperature in the oven as it cooks. So there's definitely a sense of ease to this as well as speed. Of course, the nuances here and there like the butter, how it's served, are kind of like the nostalgic aspect of Peter Luger's. Uh, we didn't make Peter Luger steak sauce, but I'm sure you guys can look that up online. If you guys would like to support the channel, please subscribe and share the video. If you guys want to check out my Amazon shop, I do have the salt that I use on there. If you guys want to look on my Patreon, I do have some exclusive cooking videos on there. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, I do post pictures of my steaks occasionally and other carnivore diet related stuff. Outside of that, if you guys would like to reach out to me for anything one-on-one -on -one in regards to improving your overall health, you can send me an email, frankatefano at gmail.com, or reach out to me through the contact form on my website.